Hey, healthy humans. Welcome to New Leaf Table TV. I'm your host, Chef E, and today we're making a creamy broccoli soup with cashews and leeks. It's gonna be delicious. The cashews add a lot of creaminess and body. We have broccoli, it's really good for maintaining your gut health. It also has a lot of fiber. And we have leeks, they're actually in the onion family, but don't worry, they have a sweeter and a milder flavor, so it'll be a crowd favorite. We're also going to use some chicken broth, some fresh dill, and ground fennel seeds. So let's get started. So first thing, you're gonna take a small saucepan and take your one cup of cashews, put them in the pan, and fill it with water. And then you're gonna bring this to a boil. I'm gonna cover it and set this to the side for 15 minutes. This is just gonna soften the cashews and make them really creamy for our dish. You could also soak them overnight in the fridge or soak them for about an hour in lukewarm water. Although you don't wanna over soak them because they can also get bitter. So I like this as a quick method to soften up the cashews and get them in our dish. All right, our cashews are boiling. So I'm just gonna turn off the heat, grab my cover, put it on the pan, take the whole thing off the burner, and set it aside to soak for 15 minutes. Next up, let's chop a few things and get them ready to go into our soup. So I'm gonna take my leeks and just give them a rough chop. You're gonna blend everything at the end, so nothing needs to be chopped finely, just to get them enough to give you some more surface area in the pan. And then I'm gonna give our broccoli a rough chop. I keep part of the stems in our broccoli. Not too much, just about an inch of it. It's full of flavor, good nutrient value, and adds a little bit more roughage to your dish. Broccoli does have a tendency to go everywhere. <laughs> When you chop it. Next, I am going to chop up my dill. Need about a fourth of a cup of dill. Once again, you just need a rough chop. I like to just put all my seasonings in the soup. You could reserve a little bit of dill for toppings at the end. And then same thing with our garlic. A quick rough chop. So we want about five cloves of garlic. I like a lot of garlic in dishes. If you want to lessen it, you could use three and that would be just fine. All right, let's get started on the soup. I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of butter and let that melt down into my pan. We want our heat about medium to medium high. We're just gonna add our leeks first. We'll saute them up and let them soften for about two minutes. Give them a nice good stir to get them coated with the butter. Another fact about leeks is when you wash them, you wanna make for sure and get inside of all the layers. Sometimes there can be dirt from growing inside some of the layers. So you wanna make for sure and give them a good wash before you cook. We'll let those soften up for about two minutes. All right, our leeks have been going for about two minutes. They're getting soft. I'm gonna add most of the garlic. I'm gonna reserve about a fourth of it for when I add the cashews later on. Also gonna add my ground fennel seed. And we're gonna let all this get nice and fragrant for about one minute. That smells lovely. Lastly, we're gonna add our four cups of broth. I really like fond. Fawn broth, you can also use um, bona fide broth, it's really good. And our broccoli. 
you want to make for sure that your liquid is about even with your materials in the pan. So it looks like I need another couple cups of liquid. I'm just adding two cups of water to my pan. That looks better. Then I'm gonna do some cracked black pepper. We'll add some more at the end. And a good little helping of salt. Next, you're gonna bring this whole thing to a pretty good boil, so about medium high heat, and we'll let it boil for eight to 10 minutes until everything is nice and soft. Once it boils, you'll take your lid of your pan and place it over the pot, slightly cracked so that steam can escape. It won't hurt the boil and it's actually gonna help your broccoli maintain its nice, vibrant green color. Alrighty, our soup's been going for about 10 minutes. So now we're gonna get our cashews ready to add them to the pot. I'm gonna open up the pot. We're still kind of boiling, so you can bring this temperature down. We'll take our cashews and you wanna drain your cashews. So I'm just gonna use a little colander like this and drain them over the sink. All right. I'm gonna add my softened cashews to my leeks and broccoli. Then I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. Then I'm gonna add the rest of my garlic and all of my dill. And some more salt and pepper. Okay, I'm gonna give this all a nice stir. Now, at this point, I'm gonna take my immersion blender. It's just a handheld blender with this little blade on the bottom and blend this up. If you don't have an immersion blender, you could also transfer this into a normal blender you probably wanna work in batches because there's a lot of liquid and also when a liquid is hot, it has a tendency to build up steam in the blender and you don't wanna have any accidents, especially with a hot liquid. But immersion blender, this is one of my favorite tools in the kitchen and I really love this Rebel one. So you just stick it in there and you blend. You can move it around. Super quick and easy. All right, we got everything nice and blended. You can see it's super thick and creamy. Now you're ready to serve. Just take your big ladle and spoon it up. And it's okay if there's a few chunks in your soup. That just makes a little something extra. And then you can add some olive oil and a little bit of cracked pepper on top of your bowl for presentation. A little bit of olive oil and some cracked pepper. There you have it, folks, a healthy, immune-building, delicious broccoli soup. It's extra creamy with the cashews, and I know you and your family will love it. Thanks for tuning in to New Leaf Table TV. Until we dine again, farewell, healthy humans. To subscribe to New Leaf Table's meal plan service with weekly meals and easy delivery through your existing Amazon Fresh membership, visit our website at newleaftable.com. And also, please hit the subscribe button to our YouTube channel. So grab a large Dutch oven. This is my 10 quart, I think. Nope, this is actually a seven quart. Okay, start over. Huh.